Value adding steps are those that produce value or that bring satisfaction to the customer. When you have a step and you think it is value adding, the criteria you should use to put it into that category includes the following. Is the customer willing to pay for this step? If so, we will say it is value adding. If not, then maybe it's not value adding. Notwithstanding, you can ask the reverse question. Will the customer agree that this step is necessary to achieve their goals? Or, more strongly on the negative side, let us imagine that the step is removed. Will the customer perceive that the end product or service coming out of the process is less valuable for them? Will they be less satisfied in a significant way if a given step was removed? If you answer yes to these questions, then you have a value adding step. For example, in an order to cash process, confirming the delivery date and delivering the products. Indeed, when I, as a customer, send a purchase order to a supplier, there are really two things I care about. That the supplier tells me, yes, I will deliver the products at a certain point on a given date and time, and two, that they actually do it. The perfect process, from my perspective, as a customer is the one where only these two things happen. Now let's take a look at a university admission process where applicants send their applications for being admitted into a degree program and on the end they expect to receive a notification, hopefully of admission, but life is life and sometimes it's not admission. In this context, there are also two things I really care as an applicant. The one thing is that my application is assessed, of course, and the second one is that I get to know the outcome. The perfect process from my perspective is the one when I hand in my application, someone assesses it right away and tells me, yes, you are accepted. 